how's it going YouTube tech here and finally the iOS 18.2 is out now this is the final version of iOS 18.2 this is not the developer on any kind of beta so this was 7.3 gigs this is quite the massive update and this brings all the remaining Apple intelligence features to the iPhone and they are not obviously the real ones they are still in the beta version but you still get to use and experience how these other half of the Apple intelligence features could look like. Well, aside from Apple intelligence features, iOS 18.2 packs features of its own, which is available to all other iPhones, which supports iOS 18 and not just the iPhones that supports Apple intelligence. So in this video, we will be taking a look on all the features which are quite relevant to iPhone 15 Pro because this is the iPhone I have right now because finally with iOS 18.2, visual intelligence is available but it's for the iphone 16 lineup with their capture button so obviously it's not available to any other iphone below 16. these features are very relevant to iphone 15 pro so let's get started all right so we'll start with the inbuilt mails app so in the mails app you have categorization and logos for different kind of categories of emails so it's not just an email you can simply see you have some graphical icons and icons of people if they have one this is the new edition and with this you have categorizations so in this you will see all the mails in this all mail tab but if you click either four of them you can see primary then your receipt orders and deliveries new subscription and social or any kind of promotion so these mails are already categorized in different kind of categories and you can simply click them to see what kind of are them so if you go to like new subscription or anything like that and click all of them once you click any of them you will be able to see how many ad updates messages or there are new mails from the same sender so you can simply just scroll down and you will be able to see every kind of thing from a same sender in one place but of course if you don't like this look you don't like the categorization you want to go back to you want to revert back to the simple ones you can simply just tap these three dots on the top right here and then you can simply click list view and this is it is it's back to the normal but you still get the advantage of this graphical icons which makes it look better of course well this is a pretty handy feature in the photos app so if you remember when you used to open photos or any kind of video or photo in the photos app you could simply like you have to tap and there was black borders around and it was in the center of the screen right here and if you have want to view it you simply had to tap it to make it full screen but now it's not like that anymore your photos and videos are already full screen as you can see here and once you tap them to get a full view it goes up like that and goes down like that and with that if there is a video right here you are able to jump frame by frame so you can also see there are like milliseconds now it's not just minutes or seconds or hour you can see you can jump frame by frame and it makes it easy to view what kind of things you have wanted to view in any kind of videos so this is what new in the photos app but there is more so for the albums if you click the grid view this will change the entire ui for how the albums used to look like so first of all they were like you had this list view this is how it used to look like and if you go back this is how it looked like right but if you go and simply click the grid view you will see this is how it looks like this is a new ui and of course you can revert it back if you want to and also in the settings app for the photos you do have an option to turn off the looping videos so that we got in ios 18 once you play a video in the photos app it will start looping as long as you don't swipe down or remove it or stop it so you can now turn it off in the settings under photos so for safari you do get a new toggle under settings that is called fraudulent website warning that means if there's a website that is not secure and does not have a ssl certificate for encrypted connection it will suggest you that you should not send any kind of password or any data to such websites and this thing is on and it will pop up right in the menu in safari if you find that kind of website and there's this second toggle which is called not secure connection warning and this is not turned on by default like this one is in ios 18.2 so you have to turn it on so this means whenever there is an https priority urls will be converted into https accordingly and with also that you do get a better way to manage your website data and history so you do get different kind of options here to import or export or completely wipe out the history or the website data 
and also if you download anything from safari it will directly show on to the dynamic island or as live activities if anything is being downloaded from safari so there's a really new handy feature in apple music and it supports national language thing so if you go to apple music and search for things like if you want songs about winter or uh, similar artists like taylor swift or something like that and you can simply go and search that in the apple music and you will find this right here and similarly the same thing goes for apple tv also you can simply go to the apple tv and search for i want to watch a movie that's like fast and furious something like that natural processing oh yes and with this update airpods pro second generation do get the hearing aid and ear test feature that we saw in the apple event well that's pretty much about some of the major features of ios 18.2 for most of the ios 18 supported devices but let's talk about the apple intelligence the second half features of the most awaited apple intelligence features are finally out now so this playground app has different kinds of ways to create images and you here you can describe what kind of image you want and with this you can select if you have a photos of your friends or anyone you can simply turn them into that kind of photos and create them with different kind of themes so there are lots of themes are available inbuilt like adventures birthday disco fantasy fireworks and a lot more of them and i'm pretty sure a lot more will be added in the current future because this is still in the beta as you can see so it's not that accurate this will certainly get better with time and once the final release of the apple intelligence features this has to do something better than it is doing right now so you can simply describe an image and you can create it so this is pretty much it but you can also now simply create any kind of emoji or genmoji and the fun part is it actually works across your entire device no matter where you are whatsapp discord imessage anywhere so for example you could like just go and select emojis and you can directly describe an emoji or go to the genmoji and click this image here and describe the emoji and you can get it well you can also do this in notes you simply have to type what you want to describe so like i have for example here it's a blue car so you can just click this right arrow and then tap add to playground and it will describe that image and it's already working for me though this animation looks dope for real well you can ask siri to get a better response by saying siri use chat gpt and tell me this and that so siri will literally tell you the thing and it will mention that this is being used from chat gpt and things cannot be 100 percent correct and finally we have the new ways for writing tool so basically you can just go anywhere on the device select the text or simply go and click the writing tool icon here so if you do that for now you can finally see that you can actually describe the change you want so previously in ios 18.1 we only had proofread rewrite concise and these four options but now we have a way to describe your change in any way you want and more than that we also have compose basically this will help you write email or anything using a simple chat gpt thing and ai which you simply use to do your homework with is the same thing well that's pretty much it with the major apple intelligence and features of ios 18.2 on my iphone 15 pro thanks for watching hope you guys like this video see you in the next one peace out